Jameson, we've talked about throughput versus distance testing. We've talked about coverage testing. Talk to me about your last round of testing here at this facility. So the last round of testing that we used here is a capacity test. Here we loaded up an AP, a single dual radio AP, with 20 clients in a high density environment and launched a downstream throughput test to see what the results were. Okay, so the kind of environment that you might find in a lecture hall, a conference room, cafe, those kinds of areas where guests and employees tend to congregate. Yeah, okay. that's right. So how did you do the test? So we used VeriWave's Wave Agent software, which actually brings the power of VeriWave's test suite into an open air environment with real world mobile clients. Okay, how does that work? Uh, on the back end, we actually have a VeriWave's chassis, which has a four port gigabit Ethernet blade that sends downstream traffic to all these clients. Okay, and how does the client side of it work? Uh, so on the client, we actually have a lightweight executable that's receiving the traffic and reporting back packet loss, throughput, and other uh, factors that allow us to grade the user experience. Okay, so we've talked a little bit about the test setup. Uh, what kinds of tests did you run with the VeriWave system? So we primarily ran two different traffic types, two different tests for this environment. First was a TCP test. That would be representative of things like an HTTP download or an FTP session. Okay. What other kind of tests did you run? We actually upped that with UDP traffic, which would be representative of voice or video traffic. So video really becoming very, very important to a lot of enterprises. We won't clearly wanted to see how that was going to work. Exactly. It's starting to emerge, and we want to assess the level of performance that we can get out of these APs. Excellent. So well, now that we've talked a little bit about all the tests we've run, why don't we dig into some of the results? All right. Let's go take a look at how these APs perform. Perfect. The TCP capacity results are a cumulative number representing the total throughput delivered downstream to all 20 clients. This means the 2.4 GHz radio and 5 GHz radio results are added together to measure aggregate dual radio performance. In this situation, Cisco delivered 190 megabits per second of TCP throughput in this high density situation, well above other vendors. In the case of UDP traffic, Cisco delivered 243 megabits per second of downstream throughput in this 20 client high density situation. Other vendors were at least 50 megabits per second slower than Cisco, with HP being more than 100 megabits per second down in comparison. Cisco outperformed every competitor in capacity testing using both TCP and UDP traffic types. In the TCP tests, Cisco outperformed the competition by as much as 83%. In the UDP tests, Cisco outperformed the competition by as much as 72%. This testing clearly indicates that Cisco is ideal for applications where there are large numbers of wireless clients on the network, particularly in verticals such as carpeted enterprises, healthcare, and education.